Royals, what's going on? It's your girl Cutie Queen here, back with another video. Now, we're preparing for November, right? And um, as we land into November, we want to start off with a bang, right? So this one right here is one of two classic colorways in this particular silhouette as it relates to just my perception, okay? I probably could be safe in saying that it's one of the few retros uh, that are given a slight bit more time than like six, seven years to come back around. Without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. You see the box, baby. Got the Air Jordan 14 Retro. Nothing crazy with the packaging, so it's nothing too much to cover as it relates to that. And the paper holds true to the, what I just said. <laughs> Let's go. Air Jordan 14. Black toe. Per what I said earlier when intro in this video is, hey, this is one of the two most classic colorways in the silhouette. It's also an added bonus that uh, it's the last shoe that commemorates Michael Jordan's time with the Chicago Bulls, which did result into a championship, okay? So that makes the shoe just that much better, especially by my standards. Putting in work is a part of the criteria. MJ put in work with this shoe, and so therefore, it is indeed a classic, okay? Easy, 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 colorway, super functional, that always helps. And of course, it has that Chicago Bulls combination in its color blocking. Let's just start with the toe. It looks like we're working with just the new buck suede, nothing too shifty. Of course, you got your red jump man here. As it relates to the bridge of the shoe, Although it's a mesh appearance, it's suede, just a suede on that bridge. The lateral as well as the medial side of the shoe, you will see it has more of a tumbled texture to it, okay? Now, the white that's along the sock liner though, and the logo on the lateral side is more of a smooth leather. Of course, with the rest of the tongue, you do have a mesh appearance going toward the tip as well, but it's more of like a, we'll just call it like a crochet or a knitting or a threading, so to speak. And then there's more of like a plastic bar on the very top with the red Jordan on there, the red 14 in Roman numeral on the inside of the tongue. On the heel, you got your normal layout, right? The normal cut black foundation, you got your gray 23, gray jump man, and then red along the trim heading into the sock liner. The insole, it is a black foundation and a white jump man. Got silver lace tips right there. So nice little ring-a-ling. They're not lined up, so otherwise I would try to I would try to ring them a little bit for y'all, but can't do it. Maybe against my nails. There you go. The outsole, majority black, of course, and you got your silver pot. Red Jumpman inside of the silver pot. Roman numeral 14 in a red circle per, the, per normal, how it's normally laid out. I didn't point this out, but I think y'all saw this at, at this juncture. Ferrari shaped Jumpman. Pretty much a silver trim, a white circle, black Jumpman, and a black foundation. This is a November 2nd drop right here. So like I said, they're kicking it off. They're kicking off November with arguably one of the best classic colorways, especially in the silhouette, all right? So that's most important, okay? I know for me, definitely gonna try to grab a pair. November 2nd, $210. I was gonna say 2010, okay? And the white pants, $2,010 for it, all right? What better way to kick off November? November is packed, so listen, y'all let me know in the comment section. What are y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna cop, y'all gonna wait? Y'all got something else in mind and you just waiting to see if that works out to make your decision? What is gonna be? Let me know in the comment section, all right? <laughs> it's been another one for your girl, Cuter Queen. And until next time, royalty. <laughs>